Hey, what's happening guys? It's Mark back here from Mark's Aquatics. On today's episode we're going to be treating the uh, treating the koi for costia and for trichodema with some potassium permanganate and I'll show you through, I'll just show you through what I do and how I treat because we got these new fish in there, they are suffering with a bit they got one on the floor there, a bit clamped up, not looking too happy and um, we're going to give them a treatment and try and perk them up a bit and get rid of some of these guys because with the added fish and with their slime coats being taken off and the transportation from my friend's pond to this pond and the added stress they're starting to flash a little bit and not looking too healthy so we're going to give them a little bit of a perk up, bit of a treatment my ones seem to be fine as you can see they're on the surface waiting for their food but the other guys are a bit slower and I think they're coming down with a bit because their slime coats, they attach so quick when they got a bad slime coat on them as you can see three more coming in there but they're not too too bad but it's best to nip it in the bud while we can so uh, we'll get on to it right guys what you're looking at there is some kashuri and that is the potassium um, permanganate which we're going to be using we've got some scales because we've got to measure out how much we need for the pond and we've also got the hydrogen peroxide which is uh, very important when you're doing a treatment to have some of that um, on hand we'll get into that a bit later guys what we need for our ponds with the uh, with the uh, potassium the old PP treatment is um, 6.8 grams per thousand gallons which uh, works out to about 4,546 4, litres okay now one thing I will say with this stuff never use any other medications at the same time all right just use the potassium permanganate for that one treatment and if you've used any treatments before give it a week or so for the other treatment to break down and disperse into the water give it a water change maybe give it a couple of weeks and then do the potassium afterwards but never mix the two together all right now I've worked out what I need for my pond I need right guys we're back just adjust you up there a bit that's the stuff I use now I'm using 3% that's all I can get at the time which uh, hydrogen peroxide 3% now I normally use 6 so all you do is simple as you just add the uh, you just double the dose that's all I do for that and we'll get into that in a bit later on right we got this carry on now the old potassium turn on the scales let that zero out okay let's crack on with this okay we get some of this stuff which is dry form And that's it that's what it looks like it is a bleach and this will strip out a lot of the oxygen in the water so it's really important that we um, oxygenate the water as much as we can but before we do that we'll go in here we'll put that there a minute now what I've got here is an aerator I'll just plug it in okay for 25 litres of pond water which I've just taken out the pond now what we do is we add this into there and it'll go a lovely purple colour now what we've got to do is we've got to degas this mix it up and aerate it for uh, for about 20 minutes okay now with this stuff what you've got to watch out is if you're going to use any, put old clothes on, stick some gloves on, because this stuff will stain. And if you get it on something that you like, you're not going to get it out, alright? So, uh, be careful with that. Now, I'm going to leave that now, aerate away, for 20 minutes. And then what we've got to do is, we've got to then distribute this over the water, over the pond surface. So, make sure you're around and you're always keeping a vigil on it, with what's going on. And keeping an eye on them. 
and always have the hydrogen peroxide on hand because with hydrogen peroxide what that does it will eliminate the hydrogen peroxide so if you accidentally overdose with it put hydrogen peroxide into the water and then that will get rid of the hydrogen that will sorry that will get rid of the potassium permanganate okay and it will get rid of it and then your fish will be okay again because if you overdose you can kill your fish quite easily so make sure you do your dosing very carefully all right and have everything measured out ready in case anything goes wrong they say i've done this for a long time now so i know what i'm up to but i'm just taking through step by step for you so you can follow along <clears throat> right so that's going to aerate for 20 minutes and then what i'll do is i'll take that air stone from that bucket and then we'll put that into the pond if you've got any outlets that you can undo to make more of a splash and oxygenate the water more in the pond I do that as well like my my outlet there is just under the water but if I can take that out I won't bother with it because I've got the water pool and I've got an air stone so I've got plenty of oxygenation going in but you really can't have a you can't have too much so if you've got two air stones put two air stones in all right that's the best thing to do stick to in as much as you can get in because it takes the oxygen out of the water and you might see them gasping at the top but don't panic if you've got the oxygen going in the water you'll be okay yeah the idea with the potassium for manganate is you've got to keep it like I said you've got to keep it purple keep the water purple and um, it's working when it's working it's purple when it goes brown that means it's not working so what you've got to do is is I put mine in I'm going to use it for about three hours I know people say or it says on the packet 15 hours keep the water purple but I don't, I don't go that long I just go about three hours three to four hours and if I and if after that amount of time the water goes a little bit brown then I'll add a little bit more in I'll mix up a little bit more and I'll keep it and then I'll put the um, hydrogen peroxide in later I'll show you doing that later on bubbling away now another thing that's really important as well UV sterilizers I've got mine there turn them off you want that off for the duration there you are that's off of the treatment okay stick that down there and another thing is is leave all your filters running because you're gonna have costia you're gonna have trichodema all in your filter as well so make sure you leave all your filter systems on if you've got anything like carbon obviously in your pond some people put carbon in their ponds make sure you turn or you get you divert that from the carbon so you're not running any carbon in there at all because that will just take out anything that you're putting in there okay and that'll be defeating the object so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put you in a tripod I'm going to set you up in the pond and then I'll start putting some of this stuff in First of all, we're going to take out the, um, the air stone. And aim that in the pond nice and slowly so as not to spook our little mates. And that's always a good indicator now of checking your um, the colour because you'll see that purple colour as you'll see in a minute very easily in amongst the bubbles that are coming up okay and there you go that'll disperse all the way around the pond now I'm going to go outside and put another dollop in the other side so bear with me a minute. Right, there you go. Now that's going to slowly mix up. And this is where you've got to keep your eye on your fish. And hope you've made your right dosage because they're all going to think what's going on now and they're going to start hiding about you might get a couple of jumps 
but in most cases it will go okay for you. Another thing I'll say as well, if you've got sturgeon in your pond, take them out. They don't like it, okay? You know they've got tough skins and all that, but they really do not like potassium permanganate. So if you've got a little starlet or you've got something along those natures, along that nature, sorry, fill up a little vat, put your sturgeon in that first, put an air stone in there, and, um, and make sure they're okay. Some people say you can use it, I've seen videos with people using it but I've lost a sturgeon years ago in a pond by using this treatment and um, but it ain't nice when you lose them but as you can see now that's mixing up nicely all over the pond getting sucked through the filter getting blown back in and it'll be killing off all them horrible little parasites which are clinging on to our little friends that in and I'm going to put the rest of the other in now just to put it in slow There you go, I just sloshed a bucket around a bit there. If I hadn't left you really. <laughs> I just lock up my uh, shed there now. And there you go, now we're in there now, we've got to leave that now for three hours. So while that's going on, I'll be in the workshop making something else for you to see on the next video. So I'm going to sign off for a minute and then when we get back Three hours would have elapsed, three or four hours would have elapsed, and then we'll put in the hydrogen peroxide and um, and we'll show you how we do that. Alright guys, I'll see you shortly. Hey what's happening guys? We're back in the pond. Four hours has elapsed now since we started doing the treatment. I added a little bit more, I put another air stone in as well. And this is the colour of the water still. You can still see, we'll go back out onto the bench in a minute. You can see the water's just going, it's not pink anymore, it's sort of a browny colour. So what we'll do is now, we'll go back out here. Alright guys, we're back and I've just filled that up with uh, some pond water so you can see now the colour behind on the, on the on the paper. You can see it's quite a a browny colour now, so it's tanked to the water. But what the hydrogen peroxide does is it turns it, um, it, it literally neutralises it. So if you can imagine now you've got the hydrogen peroxide, sorry you've got the potassium permanganate in your pond now. Now if you want to neutralise it you put in hydrogen peroxide. If you put in too much and your fish are having trouble you put the hydrogen peroxide in and that will uh, eliminate the uh, manganate the potassium from manganate and then you will you save your fish so always have some on hand and likewise if you overdose with uh, hydrogen peroxide you put potassium permanganate in the water and that will neutralize the hydrogen peroxide so it just does it the, the other way around I'll just add some now so you'll see how it changes this back to uh, to clear again as I add it there you go you can see that now is crystal clear again little bit dispersing on the top give it a couple of seconds and now that has gone crystal clear again now my pond I've measured out the dosage for my pond which we're going to put in now and then within about um, I would say half an hour we should be looking pretty clear so I'll take you back to the pond now I'll put in my hydrogen peroxide I'm just going to add it to this bit of pond water now because I've still got enough And that should be enough for what my pond needs. 
and now we'll take this I'll just get the tripod out into my hand right guys we'll go into the pond now and we'll throw some of this in the pond keep all your air stones running still and that will slowly circulate now around the pond and then we'll come back in about say half an hour and we'll see what it looks like all right then guys i'll see you soon hey guys we're back it's been um about 15 minutes 15 or 16 minutes since we added the uh, hydrogen peroxide and as you can see now all the colors are coming back in the fish the water's clearing up nicely plenty of oxygen still going on outside i'll put another air stone in with a little pump i've got there just for added oxygenation in the water along with the uh, waterfall there so uh, we know we've got plenty of oxygen going in all the fish are settled no one's racing around no one's gasping panicking so we've got a successful treatment which is always a good sign because every time you do one of these treatments it can go they like say everyone's ponds different everyone's conditions water parameters are different but I find um, this is the best way to do it and keep the oxygen going you can turn your UV sterilizers back on now as well that's not going to hurt them anymore some people leave them off for a couple of days but I don't bother I just turn mine straight back on and everything should be okay all right then guys hope you enjoyed that video it was, um, hope it was informative for you and give you a little bit of an idea on what you're up against when you're using these treatments and all I say always have some hydrogen peroxide handy when you're treating with uh, potassium permanganate because things can go wrong and if they do you'll wish you had it with you anyway I love you all you're all stars and I'll see you on the next video take care of yourselves and bye for now Just me and my